In learning objective three, we're going to investigate the rule of 72. Again, that is the time or the rate that it takes approximately to double my money. It is derived from the basic future value equation. Future value equals present value times uh, 1 plus r to the t, but it's a very simplistic model we can use to calculate the time it takes to double my money or the rate at which it takes to double my money over a specific period of time. It allows us to calculate the rate at which uh, we can double our money over a certain period of time or the time over which we can double our money at a certain fixed rate. And again, it's an approximation. It's an approximation you can do without any calculator. You can do it in your head. The rule of 72 is, is basically says to calculate the time t, I take 72 divided by the rate and I get the approximate time it will take me to uh, double my money. The key word being double, or if you recognize a double, if someone says we want to uh, increase our sales from 250 million to 500 million, that's a double. And if we're gonna do that in five years, well, uh, the rate would have to be about 15%. Um, so you can do these calculations very, very quickly. Let's have a rule of 72 pop quiz. How long will it take you to double your money at 8%? 72 over eight, nine years. Again, these are good approximations. Uh, how about if I can invest my money at 9%? Very simply, eight years. 72 over nine is eight. How about if I leave it in for 10 years? Or, temp or if I put it in at 10%, I'm sorry, I put the money in at 10%, how long will it take me? 7.2 years. 72 divided by 10%, 7.2 years. How about if I can invest my money at 12%? How long will it take me to double my money? Just six years, and so on. So it's very, very simple. 72 over R equals approximately the time it takes to double your money. Again, never forget this one, very, very valuable. Here's an example. Uh, 2008, uh, last baseball hit for a home run by Barry Bonds was auctioned off for $376,000. Uh, considered a bargain at the time. Buyers were unsure if Bonds would ever play again. Experts uh, would often say that these collectibles would double in value over 10 years, right away, we have that rule of 72 and we know what is the approximate rate of return on this investment. 72 divided by 10 equals approximately 7.2%. So even before you do any complex calculations in the future value, present value formula, you know that the answer is gonna be right around 7.2%. Uh, you can do it technically by filling in the variables, uh, present value 376,000, future value 752,000, time is 10 years, so plug in uh, the variables and solve for a little r and you get 7.1773%, very, very close to our 7.2. And again, these uh, this rule of 72 works for for uh, time, or for rates, I'm sorry, between uh, 5 and 20%. Once you start getting into large, large numbers, it starts to diverge a little bit. So remember that rule of 72, 72 divided by R equals approximately T.